Hi guys, Mike here with a little tip for those of you that want to make the most out of your hunting sessions on Red Dead Redemption 2 Online and maximise your return for those long days and nights creeping around searching for kills. So it is possible to hunt with two horses but there are some things you want to concern yourself with if you do. First of all, the only way you're currently going to be able to hunt with two horses is if you steal a horse. You want to make sure this is a saddled horse and make sure it is not another player's horse. If you steal another player's horse and attempt to hunt, there is a good chance the other player will call their horse and if you have stowed your kills on the horse, you're going to lose them when the horse bucks you off and runs back to its owner. So be sure the horse you're stealing is a CPU character's horse with a saddle as you cannot stow kills on a horse without a saddle. Next is you want to make sure you're keeping your own horse nearby and the easiest way to do this is keep whistling to your horse and this will keep him or her by your side. Then I would make sure you're hunting close by to a butcher's but away from a main route that other players would likely be roaming through as the last thing you want to happen is to be attacked or have one of the horses you've stowed your killings on stolen whilst you're hunting. So I have chosen roads as it is normally pretty peaceful out here, you have a butcher's and it is located in the countryside nearby lots of great places to hunt. Now one other thing to bear in mind is you cannot currently feed a stolen horse in the online version so you really don't want to be galloping around on the stolen horse wearing it down and once you start stacking up the killings on the horse it's going to wear down quick. So take it easy whilst riding. Be sure to only ride the stolen horse because you don't want it running off. Your own horse will always stay nearby if you keep whistling for it. Also bearing in mind that you cannot currently feed a stolen horse, I would first load up your own horse with the killings as your own horse will not wear down whilst you are not riding it. So there are some things you really don't want to happen whilst you're out hunting with two horses. Like I mentioned before, you really don't want another player to steal one of your horses as this happened to me whilst attempting to make this video as you can see here. Luckily I got the horse back, but my own horse did get killed in the process. The next thing to concern yourself with is being targeted for player assassination and guess what? Yep, that happened to me also whilst attempting to make this video. Being targeted for player assassination is when rival players in the game have started a mission and the game has randomly picked you as the target for the other player to kill. I did try my best to hold on to both horses and avoid being killed but to little success. So if you've managed to achieve all of the above you can stow a lot of killings on one horse and also small creatures your player will carry in their pockets if you skin them. You can also stow more than one pelt on the back of a horse under any animal you have laying on the back so be sure to take advantage of this by skinning animals once you can no longer carry any more on the back of both your horses. So stack up them pelts under any killings you have. You will also keep parts of the meat in your satchet or pockets to take to the butchers with you. So when you're done hunting and maximised the killings you have stowed on both horses, it's time to head over to the butcher to claim your rewards. I would recommend selling the killings from the stolen horse first because once again you don't want the stolen horse running away with your earnings still on it. So get those items sold to the butcher first then offload from your own horse after. I would really like to see the ability to have your own horse and cart in this game or the ability to utilise stolen horses and carts to load up your killings on but I have tried and it currently does not work. Let's hope Rockstar will be seeing these potential additions to the game and will be bringing it to us in a future update. 
Don't forget that Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is currently still only in beta stages, so let's hope that there is a lot more things to come. Okay, I'm going to leave you now and end my day's hunting with a drink in the bar and maybe a traditional Wild West bar brawl. Whilst I fight it out with other drunks, it's time for me to say thanks for watching. Until next time, happy hunting. How's your luck? Ah, sweet heaven! I'm going to go on you. You ain't my huckleberry no. looking like that. I do beg Watch the heart. merchandise. Forgive me. Oh, I, I do apologize. Hey now! I do Watch the merchandise. Oh.